Song for the bus drivers in Berkeley County. Yeah. We do have to stop or else we have uh, no kids uh, going to school. Especially at railroads. Okay. Well, and then you have to open up the door and look yeah, out, too. Right. Yeah, it comes a complete stop yeah. at all railroad crossings. Our guest in this segment is Eric Kiesacker, Director of Transportation in the Berkeley County School System. Eric, good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Rob. Good to be back. Good to have you here, man. I look forward to it every year. How is your, uh, your compliment of bus drivers uh, these days? Uh, it's looking good. Um, we were able to fill just about every seat um, for our full-time uh, bus routes. If we didn't have uh, a bus driver for it, we were able to double them up with other mm-hmm. drivers and, you know, split some routes. Um, yeah, you know, we're there's light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, we um, really um, did some heavy recruiting in the last four months. Um, we have a strong uh, training program at the moment. Uh, we're looking at most likely certifying anywhere from 13 to 15 drivers by the end of September. Very so good. That, that's strong for us. Uh, we just got to get through the next few weeks. I wanna, uh, before we go too much further, I want to ask you a, a serious question with regard to the incident yesterday at North Middle and if that affected any bus schedules. And when you get security issues like that, how does the word go out to parents that bus schedules might be affected, for instance, or if they definitely are? Oh, they were. De- our our routes were definitely affected, um, uh, mostly for the uh, uh, Hedgesville, Spring Mills, and Martinsburg area. Um, and we sent an in-touch message to the entire school community that the, a bus route may be delayed. Um, but I'll give it to our bus operators. They did a great job yesterday because they had to actually stage um, before they could get into North Middle School. How did, how did you get notified of the incident, and then how did you get the word out to your bus drivers in time? Our our um, Board of Education uh, administrators notified me, and then we did an all-call through our two-way system. Very good. Uh, yep. Good morning, Eric. You used the expression just a second ago that I'm not familiar with, staged before they had access. What do you mean by stage? Uh, before um, the uh, police officers and the administration at North uh, let bus drivers come in, um, they were trying to get uh, all the students out that the parents were there yeah. to pick them up. So we had bus, uh, the bus drivers stage their buses at Parks and Rec Center and Big Lots. Okay, and parking, then, you yeah, mean? Park, okay, yes. sure. Okay, yeah. I understand yeah. now. Thank you. Uh, you've, uh, uh, you say you've done a very good job of recruiting. Uh, is it more difficult to recruit drivers or aides, or are they equally difficult? All the above. All the above. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I Teachers, was, aides, bus yeah. drivers, it's custodians. Yeah. yeah. It's, and it, for your uh, your gene pool that you recruit from, uh, are they all demographics? Or are they mostly older, retired folks? Or what do you find? Uh, lately, we're finding um, uh, older folks um, that uh, have retired from other jobs or looking to change. Um, um, but we do we do get a number of younger um, folks come in that want to drive a bus. Yeah, I have a friend who's uh, retired and has recently been as a uh, bus driver, and he's fallen in love with it. He he just enjoys every moment of it. He enjoys the kids. He plays games with the kids, mm-hmm. geography games, the whole bit. Taking the a uh, uh, personal involvement with the with the families to to make uh, mm-hmm. be known to the family. So, if he is typical of the bus drivers, you have some very caring, compassionate, capable individuals. Yes, I'll, I'll tell you, Bill. We do. Uh, I'm so proud of our transportation drivers, yeah. uh, our mechanics, our administrative staff. I mean. In a, we're not immune to the bus operator shortage that's mm-hmm. going around the nation, mm-hmm. but our folks have stepped up to the plate and, and, and do as much as they can to get uh, children to and from school. And how many bus drivers do you have? 240. 240. <laughs> do you have an aid on every bus? No. Uh, uh, there's a special education aid on every special education bus. Okay. Yeah. Bill, does your friend drive an elementary school bus? I really don't know that. I should know that, and uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. So talk a little bit about that, Eric, because I know some folks um, will do two runs. Mm -hmm. They'll do uh, the secondary children's run first and then the elementary school. Um, As far as doubling up and uh covering up the many? How many folks do you have doing that, would you say? Uh, Whenever uh, there is an absence or we know that someone's going to be out the next day, we try to work with the drivers that are around that route uh-huh. and we ask them to chip in and either take part of, of the route or some bus runs can cover the route 
all by themselves. We just do double runs. Mm -hmm. So, so, but that's not the that's not that's the exception rather than the rule. Most people mm -hmm. don't do a double run each day. No, no. Uh, at, like today, if you look at our dashboard on uh -huh. the website, you'll see where we have um, three routes that are doubled up and getting help from other drivers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well and someone said online that bill stubblefield is available on tuesdays and thursdays hey, we'll take so it. no no we'll no not it. thursdays he doesn't miss his thursday breakfast oh, yeah, 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 that's right exactly they were right, talking yeah. about hey, if, if you're available yeah. tuesday we'll still take it <laughs> but going back to your question rob i and i i'm going to tie this in a technology question uh i think probably with the elementary because the first couple of days of school some of his Riders forgot to get get off the bus, so uh, so that implied they were yeah. the little ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's he had to one. drive them back and wait until the parents arrived. Brings to me the question: Do are the drivers dependent upon memorizing all their stops, or do we have technology today that aids them in where they should stop? Uh, yeah, well, most drivers have their route down. Uh, we get we get a week of uh, training before yeah. the buses start running, so we allow them to take their buses out, drive their routes. Yeah. We also have what is called Edgelog, um, and it it actually, um, in paper form, will route everything out stop by stop with directions. Um, and we recently, um, and we're not quite where we want to be with this technology, but every bus has a tablet on it, um, yeah. and. Uh, the uh, state has allowed us, as long as um, it is blacked out, then it, it will uh, say the directions for the route. So how do you, in addition to that, then you've got a, you, you may have the route down pat, but then you have to figure out what kid gets off at, or gets on at what stop, right? Right. Um, and then, you know, little Susie Q is absent on this day mm -hmm. and then you have to remember okay she wasn't here this morning oh but then mom took her to school and suddenly she's on the bus in the afternoon I mean I think it, people a, don't recognize right. how it, um, sometimes it is a challenge yeah um, but I will say our schools our ministry our people at our schools and the bus drivers work very well together um, it, it, if you had the chance to listen to our two-way radio in the afternoon, um, you'll hear bus drivers say, um, you know, they'll call into a school, hey, I don't have such and such. Did she um, uh, leave, get picked leave, up? Get mm -hmm. picked up, yeah. So the, the drivers um, know their kids. Um, we also, during that first week of training, uh, we asked the drivers to call every parent um, and talk to them, get to know them, um, you know, find out who their kid is, uh, let them know if there's any changes. Uh, and, and stop times and things like that. And what's the average number? I mean, you know, I go back a lot of years to when I was in school and, you know, the whole bus was filled. There were two kids on a seat, sometimes three. Um, what's the average number on a full-size bus for an elementary run, would you say? I would I'd average probably at least 60. Wow. Mm. Yeah. It's a lot of kids to keep track of. It's, Yikes. Uh, yeah, we transport... Oh. Um, I think our enrollment's around 20,000 this year. We transport about 14 to 15,000 of those kids. Mm -hmm. And then I would imagine the high school run is its own set of, you know, because kids decide they want to start driving and then you never really know. And mm -hmm. that's a whole nother, yeah. a whole nother set of challenges. It I'd is. Say. It is. You say you have 240 drivers. How many buses do you have that you have to maintain? Uh, 310. 310. And uh, replacement cycle, is that on by mileage, by years, because of some changes with safety requirements on a regular basis? Right. Uh, we uh, The state depreciates uh, a bus uh, 12 years or 180,000 miles. 180,000. Is it mandatory to get rid of it at that point? Uh, no. Um, however, we we choose to because of the way the state funding formula works um, we don't get any value for a bus that's over 180,000 miles or 12 years and what percentage of bus drivers take the bus home about 60 percent okay because I you you just go around a neighborhood and you're like oh well, there, look, there's, a bus. Yeah. Yeah. there's a bus yeah we just uh, uh, we're growing so much that we're running out of space at our transportation lot sure um so it's you know if if you live within so many miles or minutes of your first stop then 
we it's allow just it easier. to take home. Just it's start just from easier. home and right. end from home. Eric, yeah. what can we do about uh, the days when there aren't enough drivers or buses and uh, runs get canceled? Is there a way to get those kids to school otherwise if their parents or guardians can't get them there? Unfortunately, Rob, no. Um, we just don't have an op- opportunity to be able to do that at this point. Um, uh, if a parent cannot get a child to school, then they are not counted absent, and they can go into uh, the, the website or call the school and get the child's work for the day. I assume if the run is canceled because the driver can't make it for some reason or other. It's, it's a, either that or we can't get it covered. Uh, we struggle if we uh, ahead of time if we know that people are going to be absent for the day uh, we can usually get it covered uh, with other drivers what we struggle with and is a, uh, is a challenge is when the call comes in at 5 30 in the morning mm-hmm. um, because it's hard to get a hold of the people we need to get a hold of to get it covered do you ever have to drive a bus yourself um, I, I have been driving a van uh, for some transfers um, uh, for Hedgesville High School we're trying to get that covered um, and, and what about substitute drivers? Do you have a pool of people who just kind of like substitute teachers or no? We have uh, all of our substitutes that want to be full time are on a run right now. OK, um, we have we have a few substitutes that work here and there. They'll work Mondays and Fridays or a Tuesday, like Wednesday, Bill. like Bill. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you mentioned counseling. What about weather? And the question with weather, there's certain areas in the county more susceptible to uh, to ice than others, such as around the mountain. If you do, you counsel all the routes on a weather day, or can, or are you on occasion selective which routes are counseled? Uh, if we're canceling for weather, it's the entire county, every county. So yeah. not selecting no. them. Yeah, we talked about technology a while ago, and uh, 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 Jeff Haddox made a suggestion: you should put a barcode on each student <laughs> in order to keep up with them. Uh, have you thought about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're we're just beginning. Um, to get into that technology, we have it yeah. um, because we do it for um, all of our special education students. Um, there is a oh. there is a reader in the oh, bus okay. that uh, will identify when the child gets on, when the child gets off, um, and we're working towards uh, doing that for all kids. I did not realize that was a serious question. I'm, yeah. <laughs> so you really moved up beyond yeah. me. That's that's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. We just uh, with with. The technology breach last year, it, yeah. it, it set us back. So we're still trying to work through those bugs. Sure. All right, okay. Eric. So uh, when is the first electric bus arriving in Berkeley County? It's a big topic on our Facebook yes. page, and they all want Bill to be the first one who drives the electric bus. <laughs> if I just don't back up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but you want me to worry about that, right? Well, I was I will say this: uh, when we get the uh, uh, grant money from the federal government, we're already set to buy an electric bus. the The challenge we have with electric buses is they are triple the cost of a diesel bus. Hmm. It's three hundred sixty five thousand for hmm. an electric bus, um, and that's not in, including the charger. Why well, I I'm surprised with that because electrical automobiles are more expensive, but not triple. Not anywhere close to being triple. Yeah, the te- it's the technology in the yeah. bus. Okay. You know, Bill, you need to call your buddy Eli and get Tesla to start making some of those buses. If that improved the stock, I surely would. Because <laughs> he's cutting prices on his vehicles, right? Only the smaller ones. <laughs> not, the, not the stubble field and, line. And not, and, not the, uh, and not the school buses, yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, our guest is Eric Kiesacker, Transportation Director in Berkeley County Schools. And uh, as always, uh, they're hiring, too. So uh, how do they get in touch with you about being a school bus driver, Eric? Well, they can uh, go to the, they can call us. Uh, we'll be more than happy to answer the phone. Um, but the best way is to go online and apply uh, for the substitute bus operator position uh, for the posting. Um, uh, go through all that these pages, and then it comes directly to me. Mm-hmm. Um, as soon as they hit the submit button, um, then I get a notification, and then uh, we call them for an interview and walk them through what would be expected in training. And the training lasts how long then, Eric? Depends on how aggressive the trainee wants to be. Okay. Uh, they can be done um, most if, – if someone is really at it and wants to be done, it's six weeks. Okay. Um, but if – like, we know that people have lives, uh, so we're as flexible as we can be. It, it, it can usually take 
two months. And then do you, once you get, see, I'm thinking of my retirement job here. Too. Nice. Um, <laughs> you, so you could when, have Bill as your aide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would be Can a great man, team. Yeah, we would be. <laughs> quiet, um, quiet down there, young man. Don't be distracted, Maria, while she's driving. That's right. Yeah. That's we, right. we don't want to distract her at all. <laughs> I mean, see, now I lost my question. Yeah. You distracted We're, we're, we're at risk. <laughs> I had a really good question, and I'll think about it yeah, because well, when well, these guys don't interrupt me. So. Yeah, and <laughs> while, while you're thinking, we talking about training. What you see, old Bill had one ready to go. I've <laughs> right right not forgotten my question, Maria. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. uh, what what's involved in the training there? Uh, we have a minimum of 40 hours of classroom training, um, which is a combination of the trainer. Um, uh, helping the trainee and then we it, it, and it's other computer training um it's uh it's through um the safe schools uh so they learn about what the bus should be doing and then the trainers um inflect what their knowledge is uh, with them if they have questions and then there's a minimum of 12 hours of driving do you have separate training for uh the uh, uh the uh the special needs students no, that is included. That's included. included in the training. How much psychological tra uh, element is included? Unfortunately, not enough, um, mm -hmm. because it, it's it's really tough to you know we give some training as far as you know how would you handle behaviors, um, you know in in, in the be beginning trainings of the year we try to do some of that. Um, how, however, I tell I, everyone that I talk to who wants to be a bus driver your bus is going to reflect how you are as a person so you know if if you if you like the you know rigidity or you know and rules you're going to show that to your kids and your kids going to respect that yeah yeah i, I remembered what my question was can i go because <laughs> i might forget again can't you so, go rob this is a lot of fun kidding there when she forgets so, a question the, so the court, when, distract her again. Going, the, the court approves going. her petition bill everybody stop um so once you have the initial training done how long are you driving not side by side but how long do you have somebody in the bus with you saying "Ooh, don't take that turn so sharp you know what I mean? Any time? Are you saying you go around corners at two wheels? No, 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 no. <laughs> well, there is there is a requirement that um, uh, a new driver have a drive along. Uh, yeah. It twice. Two times only. Well, what, well, let me tell you, the training is pretty intense. Okay. So, uh, by the time the training You're gets certified. They're well equipped to drive a bus. But okay. now, how much of this training is one on one? Uh, during Almost the, all during the it. classroom, classroom aspect. It, it, it's called a classroom, but we realized um, a few years ago that in order for us to be attractive, we have to be flexible. Um, so uh, what we do is assign a trainee to a trainer, and the trainer may have three or four trainees, but it's, it's a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. How do you determine the psychological uh, uh, compatibility? How do you know Maria, for example, would not <laughs> yell and fuss and scream and pull the hair out of little Susie? Students will tell us. Yikes. Yeah, but <laughs> sure, that, I can't that, get but in there no, now. no. Isn't that a little late? Isn't that a little late? You no, wanna, there, I, there's, there's no requirement for any type of, you know, um, uh, compatibility. I assume their background bus. check, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, there's there's a, a, um, a uh, very thorough background check. Um, uh, so we just can't hire anybody to uh, work with children. They go through a vetting process. Okay, let me mine on this a little bit more. Uh, uh, the vetting process consists of what? Uh, again, I'm concerned about someone that well, is... Well, the background checks are pretty thorough, Bill. Yeah, but on what? I, I think my background check, which I've had many during the years, would not in any way yield themselves to being a school, a school bus driver. Uh, if they're looking at something, they're looking at different things. Uh, do I have my, uh, have I financially uh, uh, well managed or my wife take care of the finance, whatever the case may be. You can go through a whole litany of things that would not necessarily address to me of a very important element and that is how compatible the, the uh, driver or the aide is to a busload full of unruly, 
ill-managed. Uh, where are you getting kids. these kids? Yeah, where are you yeah. getting them? I don't know. You're going to reform school? And yeah. Sprink, you ain't get them out of class? What are you doing here? No. I don't know. But but the chat says, I'm going to be a uh, aide or driver one. Maria's going to be the driver. I'm going to be the driver. And I yeah, want to yeah, know yeah. if I can qualify. They're not trying to manage the Gambino crime family. They're just trying yeah. to get seven-year-olds to school. Yeah. Well, I can tell you our background check is very thorough, and okay. it goes all the way back to if you've done anything, we're going to find out. Um, and there, there are limits to the things that we can hire for. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, we do have to turn some people away. Yeah. And I was going to say, I think what Bill is speaking to is really more what's the what's your, um, you know, capacity to deal with, you know, a whole busload of unruly um, Prunny Town. Ki- I'm kidding. Um, I'm, but, you know, it takes it's, a lot to does. do that. And not everybody has the capacity, the patience, the, um, like you said, everybody brings their personality, but not everybody is a good fit. So no. you turn people down. Then. Mm-hmm. We do. Uh-oh, Bill. Yeah. We're I'm in not, trouble now. My, my <laughs> guess would also be that if you're not good around children, you probably would not want yeah. to apply to be a school yeah. Why yeah. would you? Right. Why would right. you really do this? Hey, We've got about a minute left. Uh, Eric, anything that you need to make sure you get out to the parents out there or, or uh, children in regards to the school buses? Yes, uh, please sign up for our parent portal, uh, the Edulog Parent Portal. It's a, um, a technology that when you sign up, it'll uh, let you know when the bus is uh, going to arrive within you know so many feet of your stop. Um, and the other thing is we are in our initial phases right now setting up a um, try, try and drive the school bus on our parking lot. So if anybody is... There's our chance. Yeah, there's your chance, Bill. We're going. We're, 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 we're going to allow people to drive the school bus on our lot. It, because some it people, sounds like fun, Bill. Yeah. It does. Some people think that driving a school bus is you know, a, a, very, a really hard job, which it is. But it, it's all about getting the driving experience and handling that part of it. Hang out a second there, Eric. Final minute with Eric Kiesecker, Director of Transportation in the Berkeley County School System, coming up.